came into college absolutely wanting to study abroad, and that's one of the reasons why I came to JMU. Just because their study abroad options are so interesting, and there's so many of them. By going through study abroad, you students really get the opportunity to not only experience the world and experience other cultures, you really have to rely on the people you're with. You make amazing friends. And while we're here, we're learning about the people and the culture, and that's not something you can be taught necessarily in a classroom. That is something that's really a hand-on kind of curriculum. When you go back to the United States after traveling abroad for your first time, you have a completely different perspective on how people do things, how professors teach, and the kinds of assignments that you're given. Study abroad is definitely a personal decision and you're gonna grow so much yourself. You are doing so many things independently. I feel like my world just got a lot bigger. You can't really know what another culture is like until you experience it. Being here in Belgium has really made me challenge my previous thoughts about things and basically with everything, whether it's food, education, or politics. We visited the fashion district of Antwerp, we've gone to Ghent and Bruges, so different areas of Belgium and taking classes. We have off on the weekends which is nice so we can use those weekends to travel and explore other parts of Europe. I decided to study abroad in China because I'm a history major with an East Asian focus. So really a lot of the stuff I'm learning and I'm experiencing really pertains to giving me a wider perspective when I'm doing research or writing papers. I often tell my JM students, to understand the Chinese politics, you have to understand the Chinese culture because the culture is closely related to politics. China is big, so students who stay in China can travel to see the everyday life of a real Chinese. It's definitely given me a wider perspective, especially a Chinese perspective on their history. This study abroad though, especially to East Asian cultures, definitely broadened my horizons quite a bit. Uh, I'm in London and it's a whole different culture for me and that was kind of the big appeal to me just to pop out of the American bubble and see what else is out in the world. For our theater class, we just went to the Globe to see As You Like It, and it was absolutely the most amazing piece of theater I've ever seen in my entire life. Our professor for that class is really great. She gave us this great background on Shakespeare and, and the Globe, and then getting to actually see it live and in person was just amazing. It's something you don't get to do in America when you learn about Shakespeare. If you're considering studying abroad, I would definitely say go for it if you have um, the chance to. It's eye-opening. Being able to step out of the bubble of America and seeing different cultures and seeing what goes around. Studying abroad was something that I always wanted to do ever since I was young, just because I feel like there's never really a time in your life where you can just kind of pick up and move for three months. So this was the time to do it, and also knowing I could graduate in four years was really appealing for me. If you're thinking about studying abroad, do it. You can learn so many amazing things that you would never be able to learn just in the classroom back at JNU and you become so much more independent and you appreciate all the sights around you and appreciate the history of your own country more and everything you learn you definitely take back with you so I would definitely say to study abroad. unlike anything that I've ever done before, and I imagine that most other people would have done before. It's an experience that I think you'll only get once, and I think everyone should do it. Yeah.